It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Unbound Brewing Company and this is a bottle of their Dark Vault Number no. 1 Barrel Aged Oatmeal Stout. This one's coming in at 7% ABV in a 330ml bottle. Now earlier on this year, 2021, uh, Unbound Brewing Company were kind enough to send me their oatmeal stout in a can. I said in that review, it's probably worth watching actually, if you want to see the, the regular version of this oatmeal stout. But I said in that review that this is the best standard stout in the country right now. It was so, so good. So that leaves me super excited then to review this. The fact that they had that wonderful stout, that thick, full bodied stout. I think it was around 5% ABV off the top of my head. To think that they had that beer, now they put it in a barrel, a bourbon barrel, and left it for months, just fills me with absolute excitement. So without further ado, let's get this bottle out. Boo! Into a glass and see what we get. Look at that smoke. Look at that smoke on that bottle opening. Listen to the glug, everybody. My goodness me. Oh, 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 my goodness me. This looks, I think this is one of the first times on the channel where we've loved a uh, standard stout, a standard oatmeal stout, so much. And then the, the, the brewer has put some in a barrel and then we're having the follow on version. And this is the first time where I've really like, I'm able to piece together what's going on. I know that standard stout was jet black. Yes, it's still jet black. It had fantastic body. It had fantastic head on the beer. And I know now it's going to have just all of those wonderful flavours, but with, with some bourbon, some like bourbon whiskey flavours. This is just going to be... Oh, it's just going to be incredible. Can you imagine having your favourite beer or one of your favourite beers of the year? And then somebody delivering a, a a wooden barrel to you. And then you have enough of that beer that you can pour it all into a wooden barrel. And then seal the barrel shut for six months. Can you imagine how excited that would leave you feel? How excited that's leaving me feeling with this beer? What happens if you're new to beer is the wood... When the beer goes into the wood, into the barrel, the beer soaks in from the walls of the barrel, from the wood, soaks in flavour, whiskey flavours and, and woody flavours and vanilla flavours. and Oh, let's get the aroma. I'm super excited. Yeah, this could be my stout of the year, just by the aroma alone. Just by looking at the beer and getting the aroma alone, this could be my, my stout of the year. Incidentally, that stout that I reviewed and I gave it a 10 out of 10, that went on to win a SIBA regional gold medal. So that beer now goes to the SIBA X competition in probably March of 2022. I think we could be seeing like a star of a show. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this stout from Unbound Brewing Company goes on to win a major award. It is that good. And we called it here first on the channel. We called it here first. So chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours, woodiness, vanilla, bourbon whiskey. Yeah, this is pretty special. Pretty, pretty special. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I'm 
Wow. <sighs> wow. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a beer. What a beer. It's the mouthfeel. It's just beautiful. There's a little sprinkling of carbonation that just starts the beer off in the mouth. Slightly pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth and releases more of that flavour. You're left with, with feelings of, of, of dark kind of galaxy chocolate and super kind of rich espresso coffee. Then you're left with a little bit of sweet caramel that comes from the malt that's in the beer. It won't be all dark malt in this beer. A lot of the malt will be kind of biscuit malts, bready malts. And that kind of transcribes into a stout, into, into like a sweet caramel flavour. Because what happens, the roasted malt and the hops that are in the beer, they give off natural flavours of coffee and dark chocolate, bitter flavours from those, from those ingredients. Or no... No, I shouldn't use the word ingredient because you're going to think there's chocolate and coffee in the in the beer. There's no chocolate and coffee in this beer. This is roasted malt that's that's given off that flavour. Track of thoughts coming back. Here we go. So, the the roasted malt, then the, them bitter flavours are, are, are quite bitter. So. What happens is the little bit of biscuit malt that's in there, or quite a lot of biscuit malt actually, um, gives off a sweet caramel flavour. It's just the, it's just how these beers are brewed. It's just almost like a scientific thing that happens with a with a roasted stout like this. Is that is that you will get kind of a, a, a big smash of bitterness, but then some sweet caramel over on the other side. It's the balance of the beer. That beautiful balance of the beer. So then there's flavours of vanilla. The mouthfeel is just wonderful. It's so sticky. Just sticks to the palate. Rolls on the palate. Just absolutely wonderful. Real kind of thick, velvety flavoured feeling beer incredible absolutely inc incredible have a look as i rock this beer back and forth have a look at this you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass have a look at that head rolling around in the glass this is just a wonder to behold if you're a stout fan and i had quite a few comments actually when i when i when i posted that um have i just drunk my stout of the year um People kind of put in the comments box, ah, oh, what about all these wonderful barrel-aged stouts and all these other kind of uh, amazing stouts up there? What I should have put in that thumbnail was the best standard stout, you know, w without a barrel-aging process, without without everything else that goes on. But but now we are drinking a barrel-aged version of that beer, which I absolutely loved. I, I still think that this this now could be... A lot of people's beer of the year. It is very, very, very special. And what I love about it is this, this is a relatively new brewery. This brewery have not been out for a long time. I think they started towards the back end of 2020, maybe even 2021. For so, so for such a young brewery to start producing incredible beers like this, it's hats off to them, you know? You kind of don your cap to them and go, well done. Well done for producing such an incredible beer. The whiskey notes. The whiskey notes are vanilla, a little bit of licorice, and a little bit of that kind of bourbon whiskey coming through. But it's beautiful, really, really beautiful beer. Uh, right, we have taken our nocturnal oatmeal stout and aged it in an oak whiskey barrel for six months. The infusion of the barrel flavours add to the chocolate dark fruit and roasted coffee flavours with undertones of whiskey and a vanilla leading to a smooth rich and warming finish a limited edition decadent stout to saviour ingredients of barley wheat oats and hops 
Uh, we, uh, this is Rotten Barn Brewing Company. We make unique craft beers and lagers with passion from the heart of the Pennines, using only top quality ingredients and water from the Pennine Hills. We seek out new flavors and we seek out new flavor combinations to bring you the very best, exciting, fresh beers. Brewing without boundaries. Colm, which is just north of Oldham, I believe. Amazing, absolutely amazing. This beer then is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.